Saturday morning, guys. Welcome to Saturday morning. So uh, yesterday we left our vlog off at a cliffhanger, kind of at a cliffhanger, and we wanted to show you guys what is Sophie's new business. What is she making? It's not you. You're not the new business. Yes, I know. You think it's all about you. But we're gonna show you guys and it turned out that we absolutely love what she made like it's so easy The kids can do it and we're gonna expand. This is just our practice round Totally our practice round, but we're gonna show you Sophie made and is gonna make Suckers, but we're gonna we have a whole plan Something completely like we have a whole plan. This is just like her her beginner trial run we're gonna do all sorts of different kinds of suckers different flavors different everything these are the ones that she made last night and we couldn't get a good mold so i have to order a bigger mold this is the only mold that we could get for now these were the um the first, first batch, ones and they were supposed to be blue but they were way too dark we, yeah the recipe called for so much coloring i just made these ones and they what are, flavor are these these are bubblegum bubblegum so these are bubblegum flavor yeah, so that's it. Like, it was literally the easiest thing she's ever done, we've ever done. I did it with them for the first time, and then they did it. Like, she can just do it herself. Like, it's so easy. Literally three minutes, and you got suckers. Okay, that's not true. More like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, maybe 20. Yeah, 20 minutes, and they've got suckers. Those are cherry. Gabby made these ones. Gabby's not really into it. Gabby's lazy. No. <laughs> Sorry, Gabby. Just joking. Um, yeah, Just joking, Gabby. Uh, this is not about you. This is not about you. It's not for you. Go away. Go away. My hands, though. Yeah. So if you got blue and red hands. But anyway, these are the ones that Gabby made. They're cherry. Oh, my goodness. She didn't even cover them or anything. These are just the ones that she made. I want to make some. They're not for you. Go I away. Yeah. I want to make some that are butterscotch because that's one of my favorite flavors and I have a recipe for that. Yeah, go ahead, try them. So, uh, this is all the stuff that we got for them. We plan to try a bunch of different things. These are just, this is just the beginning of what she wants to do. We're not done. So, these are the flavors that we got. Got it. You really these are the colors that we got. Um, we got some other things. This, these are the sticks that we got, all different colored sticks to right, kind of match on. the. No, mine are bitter. To match the oh, color of the it? sucker. We got some packaging stuff. So we covered them with this stuff. All right, Mom, let's try Um, it. We had a little bit of leftover from the very oh first batch God. that she did. Anyway, that is it. Sophie is in investing in a sucker making. We're just going to get some different molds, but it was fun. Was it fun, Sophie? That doesn't taste like anything. Doesn't taste like anything? It's bitter. Anyway, it was super fun, even if like she just sells them for like a little bit of time. Like she's been doing really well with her bracelet business and she learns how to market and advertise and and how to run a business and that's all that this is for. It's just like a learning thing, a training thing, and she's enjoying it and it's in doing the things that she enjoys that she's gonna figure out what she wants to do with her life. And I love helping her with that. So what flavors do you have already, Sophie? Um so this is birthday cake. This is peach and this is bubblegum. Mm -hmm. And these are cherry and they're so good. And actually, the birthday cake is literally my favorite out of all of them. I love birthday cake. No, it's cake batter. No? Oh, it's cake batter. <laughs> yeah, it's still crappy weather outside, you guys. So crappy. And I'm dressed like a regular person, not like a farm person. And you guys, like, honestly, I never talk about it. I used to talk about it a lot, but it's weird like the transition from us being like city people or more city people to being country people actually being horse people is like such a huge transformation like we used to mostly just wear like clothes that you would wear out places and now we mostly wear like rubber boots <laughs> that's crazy like anyway we're getting ready to go out but before we do we're gonna go down and put the horses to bed early do you guys do that? Do you guys ever put your horses to bed early when you're going out someplace? It's Sometimes not that early. It's not that early. It's like 4.16 and in the winter they go over to bed around like 5 or 6. So it's a little bit early. They'll be happy. Sam and I think that the horses are looking like they want to escape. <laughs> they're all in the back. When they're in the back, you know something fishy's going on. Let's see if she comes when I call her. Come on, Pat. 
Danny Pickle. Come on. Come on, sweet girl. Gracie's coming. Gracie's coming. She's such a good pony. Such a good sweet girl. Yeah. She's like, yeah, it's supper time. Uh-oh, I think Penny's gonna move. Or not. She's moving. There's jealousy happening. All right, let's see if we can beat her to the door. Ah, Robin! See if she comes. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, they're running now. Oh, I better look out. First one. Who's it gonna be? Is it gonna be Penny? Or is it gonna be Gracie? Come on, Grace. Guess, guess. It is Gracie girl. Come on, the meanies are coming. You better come on. Oh gosh. Yeah, good girl. Oh, they look cold. It's cold today. She looks cold. All right, who's number two? Who's number two? I see a shadow. Willow! <laughs> I love that! Oh, she needs her hair done, her tail done. That's what we'll do tomorrow. It's supposed to be warm tomorrow. Hi, Penny Pickle! <laughs> she wants to say hi to me. I feel it. <laughs> I love that. Like, this makes me happy. What doesn't make me happy is how cold it is. Oh man. Tomorrow is supposed to be plus 13, and that is really warm. But it's supposed to rain the whole entire time, which is not awesome. But as long as it's warm, I'll take that. Any first day of warmth is going to be me cleaning this room. Like, it got messy over the cold season. Wow, you guys are quiet. Hi. <laughs> yes, I know. Uh-oh. So you know, you know the deal. I clean the eye. Wait. I clean the eye though. It's a deal. If you let me clean your eye, <laughs> you get a treat. She's like, Laura, I don't care about the treats. <laughs> so see, I figure what she does is she knows Sam's gonna take the bowl away fast. So she spills it so she can save it, savor it. Keep it for a long time, huh, Pen? Some, there's something so soothing about tucking them in at night, huh? You like tucking them in, Sam? Sam's like, no. <laughs> Let's board them all. <laughs> oh, man. It's been a long winter, Penny Pickle, and we are tired of winter. Yeah. Super tired. She's like, okay. <laughs> Give me a treat. Like, I don't care about you're tired, but I get to clean your eye. <laughs> See how it works? Yeah. Oh, goodness. Yeah. All right. I cleaned the window well spider webs and didn't get the ceiling. I don't know how that got missed. All right. Can I take your bucket? <sighs> There, there's a little left. Do you want to take it? No? I'll just dump it. All right, one last, one last thing before I leave, Penny Pickle. Here, look. Show them how you kiss me. Watch. Remember? Up here. Right here. Thank you. She does kiss better than that. She's not into it right now because she's green. All right, we are ready to go. I need to offload these treats though because I swear I'm the only person that has horse treats in every coat I own. I'm gonna give Gracie one because she was the first one. Here, Gracie. Gracie, here, look. Don't bite my fingers. Uh-oh. Did it drop? Oh, gosh. Can you get it from here? Here. Uh, there you go. Good girl. I gave Willow one too, just didn't get it on camera. All right, let's do this. We're going out in the town again. Second time this week. We're going on a nighttime date. We're going to take you guys along with us because we haven't shown it like a lot. I get so super tired of the same thing every day, all the time. And I'm sure some of you guys do too. So we're going to take you guys and show you what we do on a day by day family date night. Is it a family date night? Sure. <laughs> Sure, so you guys know our trademark of honking the horn when the girls come to the car. They've taken to walking behind the car, 
when they come out of the house. But when we come up and we're ready for them to come to the car, we pull up in front of the house and then Sam honks the horn, honk the horn, and then they should come out of the house. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000, six, 1,000, seven, 1,000, when they don't come out by the time we count to 10, Sam calls and says, get out here. They're probably scrambling around. Hey guys. Mm -hmm. Didn't answer the phone. Didn't answer the beep. Didn't, didn't answer the horn. Didn't answer the phone. I'm phoning them again. <laughs> Sophie went around the back. Let's see if Gabby comes around the front. All right, we got Sophie now. We're still waiting for Gabby. There's always that one person that makes everybody wait. Makes everybody wait, that one person. Who's it in our family, Sam? It's Gabby or you. Oh my gosh, it's never me. <laughs> it's sometimes you. It's very it's rarely Gabby, me. Though, for sure. Very rarely me. Dad called me while I was going to pee. When I was younger, I used to wear a watch. Oh, here she comes. We'll see if uh, she's going to get in behind me so she won't go around the front of that car. Here she comes. Here she comes. Hey, Gabby. Nice of you to join us. See, um, good thing I didn't go around front or else you would come. Yeah. See, we're... I don't trust you guys. Yeah, they don't trust us anymore because we're honking family. Never had I never trusted you. <laughs> So we are a little bit late, but we are going to the movie theater, Galaxy Cinemas, and we're all excited. You can take the girl away from the farm, but you can't take the farm away from the girl. Oh yeah, I'm still beat you in. Yeah, they all beat me in. We're late, you guys. Go figure. All right, so we are at the movie. We found the fun, the toy fun zone. Octo squishies. Do you see any Stitch? Do you guys like Stitch? Oh, no. I also want one of these. And there's some Minions. Anyway, so we came to the movies and we saw, what did we see? Dog. What did we, we saw a dog. Did you cry? No, Mom did though. Yeah, I cried because if you don't know what the movie's about, it's about like an ex-police dog and its owner dies. It's exactly trainer. like Daisy. This trainer dies and the dog is so super damaged and has anxiety because like it lost its owner and it went through so much stuff. Well, anyways, the dog is like so super connected to its owner and so emotional and then like we have Daisy and Daisy's the same exact way as that dog. Like there, Daisy is a once in a lifetime dog. Like all of our other dogs are family dogs and Molly knows that Gabby is her owner and they have a connection, but Daisy's so different, you guys. Like, Daisy, if Sophie leaves the room, Daisy leaves the room. Like, Daisy thinks about Sophie even when Sophie's not there. Like, if Sophie's not there, Daisy's not happy. Like, it's just the craziest relationship and it's the craziest thing. And, like, just to watch that movie and then, like, think about. Like, Sophie's so lucky to have that dog. Like, she will never let anything bad ever happen to Sophie. And it's just, it was a super emotional movie. It was really good though. If you like to cry, go and see it. Sophie and I have been waiting so long for Sam and Gabby's movie to get out. So I checked the thing and we're, an our movie was an hour and a half shorter than their movie. An hour and a half we have to wait. Sophie, are you happy to be waiting an hour and a half? No. So we sat inside the movie theater place. They have Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi, and it was really not too bad. But the stools that we had to sit on were so uncomfortable. So uncomfortable, I thought I saw them. So we decided to come to the car. Anyway, I don't know if you guys heard what I was saying inside the movie theater because it was really loud in there. But I feel like I don't actually know. So I'm going to put the question to you. When a dog loves as much... Uh, when a dog becomes completely devoted to its owner, like so devoted that it can't breathe, sleep, or eat without making sure that its owner is okay first. Like its sole focus in life is to make sure that its owner is 
always safe and happy and like it just makes me want to cry even thinking about it like when she a dog cried during the movie. yeah i cried during the movie but when a dog is like that is it the breed or is it because of the way the owner loves the dog like i don't know how that happens like daisy is so much like that dog it's just so shocking like today i had a bath and you can be sure if you're in the bathroom daisy will always come to see if sophie's in there and she comes and she pushes the door open and she puts her head around the door and she looks at me and turns around and walks right back out like sometimes i just sit in the bathroom and wait for my <laughs> Yeah, like, like wherever Sophie goes, Daisy pops up a couple of seconds later. And like sometimes she'll be so excited she wants to lay on my bed with me. And she'll climb up there and I'll rub her belly and then Sophie will leave the room. And I'll like even put her under the covers, but she can't even stand it. Like she'll wait there and wait there, but then she has to check and make sure that Sophie's okay. And she pops her head out and if Sophie's not there, poof, she's gone. Like and it's not an anxious kind of love. It's not an anxiety. It's not a, it's a love. It's such a deep, deep love. Like if Sophie even acts like she's upset about something, then that dog is right there in her face. Like it's just the most beautiful thing to witness. And anyway, it was such a good movie. I hope you guys got to get to see it, get a chance to see it. It's called Dog. And Sophie and I decided we're gonna see another. Do you remember what the other one was? The lion thingy. Yeah. It's called the lion and, no, the wolf and the, the wolf and the lion? I think the wolf and the lion. Anyway, we're going to come back and see that soon. It'll be spring break and we'll have our grandkids. But anyway, that is it for today. Tomorrow we will be at the barn with our boys and we'll see you guys then. Don't you know that you